Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we'll be cooking up a high protein meal. And if you're looking for less fat, I'll show you a swap that will make this meal even better for you. This recipe we will be working on is a spinach and ricotta Hasselback chicken. Now let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is I have about um, a pound of chicken breast, which is depending on the size of your chicken, two to three chicken breast. Um, you wanna make sure that, that it is skinless because actually the skin has a lot of fat. So you want to remove that and make sure that it's boneless just so it's easier to work with. We're using some ricotta cheese. And the reason, the reason why we're using ricotta cheese is actually because it's lower in fat naturally. Um, and it has less salt and uh, actually has more protein than regular cheeses. And then we're just using some marble cheese. This is low fat marble cheese. Um, and then of course we're using spinach, which everyone knows is really good for you, right? So the first step is you want to grab some spinach. I'm actually using, fro yeah, this is frozen spinach. Yeah, <laughs> frozen spinach only because, you know what, when your spinach is going bad, don't throw it away. Make sure you freeze it so you can use it for a recipe later on. Or it's also good to put in your smoothies. So I'll just add about two cups of frozen spinach. I'm just gonna put this in a bowl here and then what I'm going to do is actually put this in the microwave just to kind of soften it a little bit so we'll put in the microwave for about let's say 30 seconds maybe 25 of course if you don't have frozen spinach you can use fresh spinach but you just want to make sure that you soften it so you can just put it over um, a skillet and just cook it for about two minutes and make sure it's nice and soft but we're going to use frozen because that's what I have on hand. And it's actually easier to work with. Oh, you know what? 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds, yeah. And actually, so when you're working with frozen spinach, it's easier because I can squeeze out all of the, the liquid and just have the spinach and that way it won't be soggy. So let's wait for that to heat up. Okay, so here's my spinach. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around there. So actually, look how wilted it's gone. I'm just gonna squeeze out some water because you don't actually want the liquid. So it turns into a small bunch. And then we're gonna add our ricotta cheese. This is about four tablespoons of ricotta cheese. Okay, mix that up. And now you have some sort of paste. Okay, so next step is we're actually going to, you know what, let's spray our pan. Just a little bit of oil. And then our chicken, we're just going to salt it. I'm using coarse salt just because I like the feel of the salt. And I know how much I'm picking up when you use coarse salt. Whereas if you use um, regular salt, it's actually quite saltier. And I, don't, I can't tell how much I'm picking up, which is why I like to use the coarse salt. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this fancy and actually make slits through the chicken breast. And you don't want to go all the way through, just about halfway. There you go, halfway. OK, because we're actually going to stuff the filling inside the chicken. Okay, let's do a couple more. There we go. Okay, so let's go and stuff this inside. And you know, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just stuff what you can. Because it's gonna cook together anyways and melt and be so yummy when it's finished. Okay, so yeah, stuff it inside the slits. And you know, I promise you, your kids will love this. I actually started giving Jet some spinach, but I call it leaves. So I used to, so we put it in his pizza and uh, he's like, mommy, I like this. I can't even taste the leaves. So I call it leaves. So it's nice and fun for kids to get him to eat his food. Okay, 
there we go. So let's let's just put it on top. Okay, so next we're gonna put our chicken breast onto our pan. Okay. And then we're actually going to sprinkle a quarter cup of cheddar cheese on top. This is so easy. And what I like about this meal is that you can actually batch cook this. So you can make, you know, eight chicken breasts if you'd like and have it for meal prep for the next couple of days. Okay, let's wash up first. Okay, and the final step, just to make it look extra fancy, we're just actually going to sprinkle about a teaspoon of paprika. I'm just going to use my hands, just eyeball it. It's really just for presentation. And that's it. Look how easy that was. I used, what, five ingredients, I think? So we're going to pop this into the oven. Preheat it at 400 degrees. And this will take about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on, on your oven. It varies. But I actually made some in advance. So this is what the final product looks like. So let's actually plate this, and then we'll taste it. Actually, Jerome is going to taste this. <laughs> I like, I'm the taster. Yes, you are the taster. Well, this is lunchtime for you, Jerome. Yes. So you can serve this with any sort of salad you like, but we're actually just going to eat this plain as is. So here, Jerome, let me know what you think. Are you not? I'll feed you, Jerome. Just no, no, it's okay. No, I'll, I'll do that. You'll do it? Okay. I'll, I'll be you guys, this is Jerome. If you, got, if you haven't seen him before, thank you, Jerome. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. I love yeah? it. Yeah? Mm, good. so good. It is good. Well, this is what it looks like, mm -hmm. full of lots of cheese. And this is lean, so this is actually really good, really healthy for you. But thanks, guys, for tuning in on Nearest Kitchen, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>